Hi Jungle Heat fans, it's your friend Calls here with episode 2, and in this particular episode I get the pleasure of killing two birds with one stone. I get to show you a replay that covers proximity based aggro, a concept that I discussed in my initial base design setup, and then I also get an opportunity to demonstrate my base design setup against a swarm. It's going to be 34 level 4 mosquitoes which do a lot of damage if you don't handle them accordingly. But before I get into that, I want to review proximity based aggro in case you're seeing this for the first time and you're not quite familiar. As you know in Jungle Heat, there are a myriad of units that are going to attack the closest thing that they are capable of attacking. So why, why don't I go ahead and zoom in down here. Uh, a good example would be a slasher. A good example would be like a rifleman, a pyro, a mosquito, a blackhawk, a predator. So when they are deployed, as they will be on the exterior part of the board when I demonstrate in the video, they're going to go after, say, an oil rig. And when that's done, the nearest available unit for them to attack will be subsequently the uh, special forces building, so on and so forth. So uh, the proximity-based aggro, you can defend against these kinds of units by putting your non-essential structures out here on the exterior because I really don't care about anything that gets destroyed on this exterior line of defense. I really don't even care if anything gets destroyed on this interior line of defense because they're all protection-based structures. I start to care a little bit if my bunkers are going down, if my death rays are taking damage because now they're starting to get to what really matters and that's my oil and gold storage facilities. So utilizing this kind of a base design setup, it'll take an eternity for a unit like the Blackhawk, as we'll see in this replay, to even get to a point where I'm going to start getting concerned with the damage that they put towards my oil and storage facilities. So why don't I just go ahead and pull it up right here. And then I'll go back to the originating point of entry, which is down in the southwest. He's going to deploy three level three Blackhawks, which do you know a little bit of damage. And he goes after the oil rig, and then subsequently terminates the two special forces buildings. And now he's drawing aggro from the Jericho. So one's going to go down, and then he's going to also generate aggro from one of my heroes, which is going to stall him for a split second. And then shortly after, the Blackhawks are going to get terminated because they hit an airship bomb as well as a, an opportunistic air torpedo along with two lightning guns, and they make quick work of the Blackhawks. I am going to replay this, and we're going to take another focus on the Mosquitoes because there were 34 level 4 Mosquitoes, which do a tremendous amount of damage. I stand corrected, 36. And we're going to focus on what happens to them. The anti-unit against a swarm based strategy as a preferred unit for me are the spider guns. I have a level 3 and a level 4. They're augmented by, by two separate monuments from the foundry. So they're putting out 6 rounds apiece times 2 is 12. Uh, 70 to 80 damage each. Another augmentation of 13% on one of my monuments. So that's probably more like 77 to 88 damage per piece. And you can see the residual effects on how they chew apart these 36 level 4 mosquitoes which are not to be taken lightly because if you don't dispatch them your base is going down. So here are the Blackhawks and then here come the mosquitoes right around here. Take a look at this. Okay here. We'll focus on this group 1 as I call it right here. They're gonna go straight towards the area of concern and then all of a sudden it's like a disappearing trick. They're gone. Here's the next group. There's probably about 15 or 20 of them and all of a sudden it's like Houdini. I mean, they're gone. So, uh, in summary, spider guns are really good against swarm-based strategies. And a passive defense in which you can have direct control over on your base design setup of putting non-essential structures and buffering them far enough from an interior line of defense can take advantage of the proximity-based aggro on a myriad of units in jungle heat. And I'll post that in the, in the description of this video of which units are susceptible to proximity-based aggro, although you can look for it in the description of each of the units themselves. I'll just do it for your own edification. Uh, but this concludes episode two, so if you have some feedback you want to share or post something in the comments, or if you have a video or a replay, uh, get a hold of me or we'll find a way to make it happen. Uh, I don't want these videos to focus solely on me. I want to share what you guys have and maybe do a play-by-play -play of things that I see or maybe things that you can do better or things that I can do better. So with that, I conclude, and thanks for watching.